Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be about why <clears throat> the law of attraction isn't working for you or why, is it, why it hasn't working for you, hasn't been working for you, you know, why you're having problems with that because the law of attraction, it's a law, right? It should work effectively. Why doesn't it work for you? So the reason why and this is a gym I'm dropping a gym today i'm dropping some bombs the reason why the law of attraction and it's 333 i love it gosh um the reason why the law of attraction is not working for you or does not work for you is because you do not believe in what you're manifesting you don't believe it it seems too far-fetched for you it seems impossible for you or maybe you're just playing around or whatever but you have to believe with every fiber of your being when you are manifesting something. It can't be like, oh, sure, I can manifest a million dollars. Ha ha ha. You should have already envisioned what it feels like to have a million dollars, um, what you're going to do with that million dollars, um, how you're going to live. That's why vision boards are so powerful because, you know, you get to visualize what it is that you are doing and what you will look like um i even know um one of uh the one of the gurus that i follow he advises like putting your face on pictures of people doing things that you want to do so those things may be like you're gonna cover a magazine or um you have a couple that's getting married and you you know put your face on the the, the groom or the bride or whatever um you know you you're so that you have a visual of that it's called it's a form of um using your imagination of course and your imagination is the key to manifesting you have to be you have to be in your feelings people talk shit about it all the time you can't be, can't be in your feelings well that's how you actually manifest stuff and you can i mean this manifests on both ends like you can manifest bad things by feeling bad so if you keep having bad experiences, it's because you are consistently feeling bad. You're not making a decision to feel better about yourself. You're not making a, a decision to make to feel better about your situation. Um, there are so many different things that you can do to shift your mindset, to shift your, your environment, um, to shift your vibration. But people don't do it because they think that they're silly or they live in this space. So I'm going to give you all a story. So I have some friends who they they are constantly talking down about themselves. Oh, they say that they're dumb. They say I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm them and say it about me because I know I'm like energy is on a billy, you know, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm talking like I'm them. But these people say things. Good afternoon. These people say things like, Oh, they'll say, you know, this person is so dumb. This, and they're talking about themselves. Oh, this person is so whatever. Um, I can't ever, uh, let me, let me like, I, I messed up, I almost said it was me. <laughs> Take that back. Um, they'll be like, she can't ever um, meet no nice dudes. She can't ever get no money. She can't ever blah, 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 he can't, whatever. So they, this is this is the space that they live in, right? They tell themselves this every day, you know what I mean? And they'll, they'll be like, you know, She's on so and so many different dating apps and I still can't, you know, it's still, it's just so hard, you know, these are the things that they tell themselves versus you see people that you're like, how did they manifest this lifestyle? You know, they ugly, they're rude, you know, how did they manifest all these other things in there, which you would be consider, which you consider subpar, we'll use that term for now. It's because that person gasses themselves up from the minute they wake up to the minute they go to, go to sleep. That person is like, I'm the bomb. Everybody wants me. I'm always making money. Um, I can finesse. I can, And sometimes it's even things that aren't even considered ethical. They just believe this about themselves. They believe that they can do it. They believe that they can get away with anything. They believe that they can um, get any woman, get any man. They can get any job. They can get any house. They believe this with every fiber of their being. I mean, sometimes these people will even go places and apply for credit and stuff that they shouldn't even be applying for because they know their credit score is ashy. 
they don't care. They really feel like in their heart of hearts, I should be able to get whatever I want. I'm going to get whatever I want. And they go and they do it and you're wondering how. They manifested these things. It's because that's what they believe about themselves. So if you're a person who spends the majority of your time thinking about how you can't do things, you can't attract certain types of people, you can't get into certain social circles and stuff like that, what you're also doing is you're making a thought transmission. So those individuals can sense that energy. When I've had situations where people were dogging me out and treating me like crap, I was sitting around pouting like, they'll never commit to me. They'll never be honest with me. Me, 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 me. That's what I was doing. And they were, they were feeling that vibration. And they were like, oh my God, I can just tap dance on her. I can just tap dance on her. I can just treat her like crap. Because that's how um, I felt about that person, and that's what I felt about myself. Because also, if I felt about, if I felt that that person wasn't going to treat me with the utmost respect and love, would I have not removed myself from that person's presence? Why would I even have continued to be friends or be in a relationship with that person? Right? Because that's like stupid, right? Why would you do that? But um, so it really is. It's on both ends. It's on both ends um, of the spectrum. It's about what you're saying to yourself and also what you're saying about that person. I have seen people manifest relationships with people, whether they be good or bad, right? Manifest relationships with people because they were just like, oh, I know. I know Tony won't me. I know Tony would lick my toes. <laughs> I want him to lick my toes. Like, you know, they'll say stuff like that. And then here comes Tony. Before you know it, here he come. You're like, wait, didn't. Didn't you throw Tony out of a window last week? I'm just being facetious. I don't even, I'm just, but I'm just using, like, making funny examples. But it really be on that vibe, though. And if you really feel like you can get any person, again, get any job, get any home, go anywhere, do anything, you can absolutely go do that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say there aren't going to be people that are going to hate or have negative commentary about what you're doing. But who really cares, right? Because if you're doing what you said you were going to do, who really cares about who has anything to say about that? If you're secure here and here, it doesn't really matter about what anybody else has to say about you. So universal law is what you're putting in is what you're getting out. So if you believe that there are no good men in Atlanta, which is what I hear all the time, but I keep seeing folks get married out here, which is funny to me. Um... There are no good men in Atlanta. There are no good jobs. There are no financial opportunities. There's no way you're ever going to get over this particular health occurrence. Oh my God, that's like a big thing with me. Cause I don't like, I think everybody has resistance to certain things, you know? Some people may not have a resistance to love stuff, but they have resistance to like money stuff. And that, that makes them real antsy. And some people have a resistance to um people telling them yes you know they feel like they can always get a yes out of people but they have resistance about being accepted into college or something right everybody has their little blocks me my non-resistance thing is health i don't believe like and i'm getting over a cold right now and i still like i don't believe i can ever get like terminally ill like i don't even believe that's a thing for me i feel like i'm super healthy i feel like if i ever get any type of illness i can get over it um i'm not even gonna say the word of the panoramic situation that happened i honestly laughed about it because i didn't think it was um i knew it wasn't gonna affect me or my family because i just thought it was like i didn't give it energy you know what i mean uh, i just that's i've always been like that about health um always been like that about health i've had near death near death experiences um all kinds of crazy things that have happened to me but i don't believe that i can be overcome by a health occurrence so, um, actually, when I was pregnant with my last child, somebody actually told me that I had a, I had a fibroid. Uh, it's still funny to me now. I think about it. The, uh, the nurse practitioner told me I had a fibroid. And I said, no, I don't, I don't have fibroids. She was like, no, look, right down the ultrasound, that's a fibroid. And I was like, nah, that's not a fibroid. Because I don't believe, I just don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, it just, really, honestly, I just, I have a whole block with health care. I'm sorry, health problems. I just don't believe, I believe, like, I'm, like, the healthiest mother sucker ever i just believe that about myself and i have found that when other people get sick i tend to not get sick or if i do get sick i don't get as sick as other people um it's just a thing with me and that, that's how some people are with relationships and you're like dang that person always got a boo that they don't have a resistance oh that person always got a great job every every time they apply to school they get in every time they 
do this, they, they always have success. They don't have a resistance to that thing. So what you have to work on is the things that you have resistance to. You know what I mean? Um, and I have things that I have some resistance to that I'm working on. Um, but I, what I do is I change my self-talk about them. If I start thinking negatively, I'd be like, nope, mm -mm, nope. We're going to change the thought right now. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Because I know I can have whatever I want. I just start to basically what some people call a rampage. I begin to talk myself out of it because I had an out-of-body, I guess I'll say out-of-body experience where my ori began to talk to me in a space where I was very, very uh, low in life. And my ori just kind of overtook me and she was like, sis, are you not like, and, and my ori likes to use profanity, so I'm not even going to go into that right now, but she was, she was blessing me out. She was like, girl, you got this, you the baddest, mm, you got blah, 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 can't no, mm, do this, blah, blah, blah. She just was getting on me. And I was like, you know what, you right. You are so right. And what I found when I started to become more positive and I got to a healthier state in my life, that's actually how I talk to myself, for real. That's, I really, truly follow my worry, so I do not, um, when somebody tells me I can't do something, I actually find, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> I find it very funny. When somebody tells me that I can't do something because I don't think that there's anything that I can't do, honestly. Um, especially, even if it took, takes studying or it takes time, I don't think there's anything that I can't do. So, um, I feel like I can do it all. I can do whatever it is that I want, truthfully. Um, I mean, I sound like a Sesame Street episode, but for real, I can do anything I put my mind to. And so can you. So, the law of attraction is not working for you because you don't believe in what you're manifesting. And you're letting other people and you're letting society tell you that you can't have something when i'm trying to tell you crazier things have happened miracles have happened um so why can't you have a miracle you can you just have to believe that there is nothing that can stop you from doing whatever it is that you want to do it has to be like on period you can't have no doubts nothing there's no such thing as a doubt when you doubt you're pretty much saying that you're not I'll say this, most of my followers are, are um, religious to some extent. You're basically saying you don't believe in God when you say that you can't do something or you can't have something. That's what you're saying because the universe says that we can have whatever it is that we want. God actually says that we can have whatever we want. So who are you to challenge that? Also, and lastly, when you make a decision I'll say this, when you when you choose not to make a choice, and when you choose not to make an action, because you can also manifest with your actions, when you choose not to make a decision, you choose not to make a choice, you are letting the universe make a decision for you. So what you're not going to do is sit up and be like, I want a new Lamborghini, and you don't go test drive the Lamborghini, you don't know how much Lamborghini costs, um, you don't know what color Lamborghini you want, you don't even know what model you want. If you just be like, oh, I want a really nice car, you're not making a decision. You need to say, I want the Lamborghini blah, 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 blah model in this color. You have to be specific with the universe. The universe wants you to be specific. So when you say, I want a man, the universe will just pick any man, okay? You have to be specific about what it is that you want. Not making a, a clear and concise declaration and command to the universe is let it you're, you're not making a decision you're letting the universe pick and choose what you'll get so i've even heard of people saying things like they'll manifest money and they'll find a penny the universe heard you and you manifested some money you have to be specific and you have to be serious um sometimes and i think this is where chanting you know candle work um visualization um vision boards this is where this helps it helps to cement it into your mind because a lot of times it's hard to it can be hard for people to just imagine it. It takes time to be able to just imagine something and watch it to happen, to make it happen if you're not a fast manifester or whatever, if you're not used to manifesting really fast. Um, but as you strengthen that mu muscle, you'll be able to just call stuff up and it'll just happen. And you'll be like, whoa, dang, I just said I wanted that and now I have $2 million. I didn't, okay, wow, well, okay, cool. We out, we off in the Lambo. You'll be able to do that, but you have to Work on strengthening your manifestation muscle. <laughs> like how that sounds. You have to work on strengthening your manifestation muscle and you have to believe in what it is that you want in every being of your body. If it takes time, if you gotta write it down every day, if you gotta light a candle, if you gotta do a vision board, well, cool. 
um, those things help you. But the manifestation is you. It's your energy field. So I don't want to hear no more. nobody else talking about men don't ever talk to me. Men don't ever talk to me, but I'm going to go to this party. And then you go to the party and then nobody talks to you. That's what you ask for. That's what you ask for. That's, that's what it is. So y'all stop saying stuff like that because somebody like me is going to come around. And I'm going to be like, men love me and men always talk to me. And you're going to be looking at me at the party and everybody's going to be talking to me. Don't be mad. Get glad. You know, my mom used to say, scratch your booty and get glad. Change the way you're talking to yourself. And then your reality will shift. Okay? Bye, y'all.